Hi everyone, hope everyone's doing fine today. Here's Abdul and today we have a um, special video. Every year uh, I make a couple of uh, sales video where I um, showcase the watches that I have on sale at the moment. These are watches that I bought for myself or for my wife and um, we just didn't uh, uh, like them or didn't work out with the watch. So uh, that's why I'm reselling them. So if you're interested in any of these watches, either leave a comment below in the comment section or just write me an email. My email is in the um, info section. I will post it also in the first comment. Uh, so whenever you uh, are interested in one of these watches, you can contact me. Or if you want to keep it uh, formal, I have all these five watches also on Chrono24. You can search for them and buy them directly from there if you want to have a, an anonymous uh, transaction. So yeah let's start from right to left right is this gigant uh gigant uh liberty coin watch you have a gold coin as a dial um the watch uh, are, is 30 33 millimeters in diameter lug to lug is 39 millimeters has a 17 uh, inch uh, uh, 17 centimeter lug width and uh, it has this coin edge uh, styling uh, like you see like a coin and uh, it's pretty cool it's hand wine you can see the liberty you can see the swiss made a uh, very cool watch uh, i would say it's a ladies watch i have also this this band on it what makes it the parallel one that makes it really nice it comes with the original uh, leather strap uh, but if you want, I will also supply a brown, uh, a new brown pearl on with the watch. Uh, if you're interested in this watch, like I said, write in the comment section. The next one is a Adora. I left this paper because the strap is new. It's 19 millimeters. Um, it's a bit, I think it's 18 here, but I put a 19 so it fits it up quite nicely as well. And uh, as you can see, the watch is... 34 millimeter in diameter and lug to lug is 40 millimeters with a lug width of and 7.5 millimeters thickness so really thin watch nice hand wind movement adora one of these uh yeah dead swiss brands that we have uh, we had and um in the course crisis so the watch is uh, pretty cool you have here these raised indices that all look into the center inca block and you have so it's on the tw uh, six o'clock uh, another swiss vintage one this bueller we have this uh grace uh, 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 gray linear dial with uh, printed indices uh, blacked out hands hand wine you can see the movement in the back uh, you can see 20 millimeters Swiss made and that's actually a 36 millimeters watch oh that's a 44 uh, in, in, in diameter and 38 lug to lug so it's definitely a big watch so for anyone who likes bigger watches cool watches this is the one it has a plastic case and as you can see Here's the reference number mod dip 13178 Swiss made and the movement is Baumgartner uh, one uh, uh, I think it's one jeweled movement um, I, I don't think this one is bought for accuracy or anything it just was bought for for the look uh, the plastic with the another one was bought for the look but actually has super good accuracy the Sino um, the Sino watch is Swiss made it has uh, La Piste La Lazur uh, uh, dial, this blue starry sky dial. It has a actually a 800 uh, silver case. And as you can see, mint condition. Uh, also the here, it's a 32 millimeters. So a bit small, I have a 17 inch, a 17 centimeter. Uh, as you can see here, it's a bit small. It has these, um, inner lugs which is really cool that's why another reason i bought the watch i didn't know even it's silver but these lugs are inside the case which gives it a really nice integrated look 
and it's definitely one of these watches that I just wished it was a couple of millimeters bigger because it wouldn't have left my collection. So Hino watch with uh, Lapi uh, Lazurte uh, uh, dial and uh, silver uh, sterling silver 800 case. And this watch, believe it or not, is uh, from the 50s. So definitely, definitely very good uh, uh, condition for, for the age of the watch. And last but not least, another Swiss watch, but this time a quartz and uh, Maurice Lacroix. Uh, here is a quartz. Uh, I think uh, starting of the 90s, they had this hexagonal shape that uh, took after uh, uh, the 80s and the start of the the start of the the sports integrated uh, bracelets. And as you can see, you have also a uh, black stone on the crown, which takes it from a bit of. Uh, uh cartier we have here the reference number at the back original strap a bit used but still in good condition you have here the maurice lacroix and you have a quartz movement i even have a um an, uh, an updated maurice lacroix quartz movement if you're interested i can also add it up to the uh, a watch for free if you are a uh, subscribed to the channel i will and you buy this watch i will give you the uh, a new uh, Maurice Lacroix uh, quartz movement that fits also in this watch as well with this watch. So thank you everybody for uh, watching. If you're interested of any of these watches, please leave them in the comments below. I will put now each watch on my wrist and uh, after that uh, the video will end. So hopefully you enjoyed the videos of today and if you did, please do leave a like. Hit the subscribe button and if you like any of these watches like i said write in the comments below or write me an email um in the email that will be in a part of the description or a part in the first comment as well so here are the watches on my wrist as you can see each of them have a different look different feel Here we have another one, and last but not least, the Maurice Lacroix. So, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.